Hey boys, welcome to a brand new video where I'm going to be discussing some real life footy here. And as the title will suggest, I'm going to be talking about one of the new rules, um, the captain challenge. It's not really, a, I guess it is a rule, but it's, uh, it's, what would you call it? An introduction to the game? I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a new addition to the game. And I'm going to say... There's been there's a couple of rules that they've they brought out this year that I think are pretty good. I mean they brought out the 2040, which it you know that that one should have been in for ages, but it's a you know I don't, I don't think we're just going to see too many 2040s because it's risky to kick in your own 20. But it's a, it's a good rule. I, I like the addition, um, the scrum, the scrum rule where you can now take the scrum from anywhere. Um, on the field, you can take it from midway or over to one side or the other. I like that as well. Um, again, I don't think it's too major, but it's it's a neat addition. But I'm going to be discussing the captain challenge. And straight off the bat, I will say I am not a fan. I have no idea why they have added this. I don't think it's going to be good for the game. I think it's just going to cause more frustration and stoppages and annoyance <laughs> i just i feel like it's the it's a way for the nrl to sort of be like oh you know the captains are always complaining and going up to the rest well here you go you get you get a challenge you're always complaining so now you get a chance to actually put them put your money where your mouth is and, and challenge a call and i'm just like why have they why have they added this now for for those that don't know right the captain challenge you get you get one you get one challenge, but it's one unsuc uh, unsuccessful challenge. So it's it's similar to like a cricket challenge. If you get it right, then you can keep using it. So a team could use 10 a game. If they get 10 right, then they can keep using it. If they get that first one wrong, then it's gone. It's gone for good. Um, you, can also, you can also only challenge a decision that's during play where a stoppage has happened. So... Mainly, I can see it happening at, you know, if a knock-on's been called or a potential penalty where they stop play or if it's gone, you know, where, where a dropout is going to happen or, or a tap restart. That's that's the main... Well, it's the, it's the only way you could you could use it because obviously... <laughs> and this is this is one of the big, the big issues and I'll get into it in a second, but you obviously can't use it for a try-scoring decision because the the refs always go to the video ref anyway so <laughs> it's not like it's going to be like an obstruction play and they go to the video ref and they're like no obstruction and give a penalty and then the captain's like no way that, that wasn't obstruction you're obviously not going to challenge it because they've already made the call so it's only going to happen for those those stoppages right and this is where the issue comes in because there are so many times throughout a game where, let's say, like, it's always a 50-50, right? Like, a player runs with the ball, and a couple of players go to tackle him. He's he's there trying to struggle three of the tackler. He might be looking for an offload. Another player comes in. They're trying to wrap up the ball, and it comes loose, right? The ball comes loose, and it's always a 50-50. It's a 50-50 whether or not the ref blows a penalty or a knock-on, Right? Because it's hard to tell. Like, I, I don't usually have too big an issue with it. I'm usually on the side of I wish they would just call it knock-on more often because, you know, obviously the defenders are going to be trying to wrap up the footy. That's the name of the game. That's that's rugby league to a T right there. So I'm usually on the, on the fence of I wish they would call more knock-ons. You know, if a hand's in there... I don't, I don't really care, but the, the refs are very 50-50 on it, sometimes they call penalties, sometimes they don't, and this is where the big issue comes in, because there are going to be so many challenges, um, and it's going to take forever, like that's the thing, right, because they're so contentious, when a player is fighting in the tackle, a hand is on the footy, the 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 ball the, the player with the footy sort of reefs away the player holding on to him his hand touches the footy and it slips out but it's because of the attacking player reefing from the tackle what are they going to call it so if the ref calls it a knock on 
and the attacking team challenges it because they're like, oh, he stripped it. His hand's on the footy and it came loose. Then they're going to go upstairs for, <laughs> for, <laughs> for ages and the video ref's going to have to slow it down and zoom in and oh, his, his hand's on it, but what are they going to call? Are they going to start calling all of those strips? Are they going to start calling them knock-ons? I have no idea. And it's just going to be such a freaking nightmare, dude. I feel like... And, and I feel like they're going to have to just call them penalties. Like, I, it, I feel like the gray area of it is going to have to turn into a black and white where if the attacking team loses, the, uh, loses possession and there's players on top of, like, holding on to him and the ball comes loose and a, one of their hands is, like, on the footy at the time... They're just going to have to call them all penalties, which I hate. I absolutely hate that because half the time they're looking for an offload. They're trying to break the tackle and it's just poor ball security. Um, I can't see I can't see any other way around it. So you're going to have so many times where the, the footy comes loose. The ref is going to do his 50-50 call and depending if, the, if they're aware enough, I don't know. This is the one thing. The, you know, during a game, players might not be that switched on to do it, uh, especially early in the season. I feel like a lot of teams just will forget about it, hopefully. Um, but yeah, if we start getting like constant like challenges for these potential strips and knock-ons, it's just going to be an absolute nightmare, dude. I, I cannot stand it. It's already annoying enough. Um, the inconsistency of when they call them, but I can live with that because it is hard to tell. It is hard to tell. There's the odd one where they do strip when there's more in the tackle. Most of them, I do think, is just a loose a loose carry, um, but it is hard to tell. Like, even if the ref's right there, like, I mean, it's, it happens quickly. There's, there's bodies in motion. It's hard to tell, but then they're going to be slowing the game up. They're gonna be, they're gonna be looking over it because they got to get it right. <laughs> if the if the team's using their one challenge, like the video ref's got to be a hundred percent. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be like looking at a try. They got to like analyze it from every angle, zoom in, slow it up. It's it's gonna be very frustrating. The only reason, or the only sort of position I think the challenge is okay, is near the try line and for like knock-ons and not like when you've got the footy but like a, a high ball like a bomb to the winger contesting that like it's very hard to tell on field um and even when the ball gets batted dead like does someone else touch it in the lead up even though they already do look at that so i don't know if they're gonna have to challenge those too much because the, the rest already look at it yeah i don't know i, I but that that's that's my overall consensus of the captain challenge. I do not like it at all. I just have no idea what the NRL is thinking with bringing it in. I, I just, it just baffles me. Why, why do they think this is a good idea? <laughs> like, I think it's awful. I think it's absolutely awful. The, the only thing I'm hoping for is that I'm hoping during a game that the captains just don't really think to use it you know hopefully just slips their mind <laughs> and they don't try to cheese it um because i feel like that's the only way it's going to happen is the the team with possession is going to be able to cheese it a lot with players with the footy if they're looking to offload like like i've been saying just the the ball coming loose with players on them is the interpretation going to change are they are they going to be a black and white is it going to be black and white? Like, if players are on the footy and it comes loose, is it always going to be a penalty if they challenge? I I don't know. And what if it's the other way around? They they call... This is, this is the thing. It's so 50-50. Like, if the, if the defending team gets penalized for a strip and then they challenge it because they think it's a knock-on and, you know, it looks like a loose carry but the hands are around the footy... Are they, what's going to happen? Are they, are they going to switch it now? I, I don't know. I think it's going to cause all sorts of confusion from game to game. It's going to differ from referee to referee. It's going to differ. It's just adding, it's just adding more controversy and more, and just more frustration for the fans watching when one call goes one way, the next week it goes the other way. It's gonna, it's gonna be a nightmare. Um, 
but you know I'm, I'm i'm interested to hear what you guys think i think most people i've heard talking about it don't like it but I'm, I'm keen to see what you guys say in the comment section do you like the captain challenge do you not like it if you do like it why if you don't why you know <laughs> let me know I'm, I'm interested to hear what you guys think but um yeah i just i i've honestly i've been meaning to make this video for a while um since i heard about the rule and uh the season is pretty close to starting so i thought you know might as well might as well make the video have a little discussion um but yeah a little uh, little preview hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and comment and i'll, I'll see you in the next one